today's video I'll be making a handy little trap for if you ever get lost in the woods it's called a figure four deadfall and the only tool that I use for it is this little multi tool so let's go get some materials I stumbled across this brook and I think I found a decent rock. Secondly, you want to cut yourself off some saplings. Okay, here's all I got for materials. It's just this sapling and this, this rock right here. Now what you want to do is you want to take your sapling and you want to just take a sharp knife, my multi-tool here, and just uh, shave off to square up the edges, keep going around, just turn it. It'll come out looking something like this. Now with your rock, you want to find a good balance point. And that's why it's important to have your rock first, because you got you got to measure it from your balance point and where you want to have it leaning up. And right about there is about all you would really want. You wouldn't want to go any higher. So right right about there should be about good. So cut that off, I'll mark that right there and I'll cut that off. Okay, we now have our vertical piece cut. Now what we want to do is just shave off one of the corners here, just like this. And you want it to look something, come out something like that. See that? You don't have to be real fussy. You gotta imagine cutting it right here so that this will fit right into it. So that's my next cut. Now you should have something that looks something like this. See how those fit together? And you want it about a 45 degree angle. Now our next cut we're going to make it's going to be like a little angle cut right on this edge. And you want to have it so that you got to imagine your bottom piece going across here like that. So it's right about there. Okay, now this is what you got so far. That goes in there like that. And you got your little beveled edge. Now next what we want to do is set up where the trigger is going to go. So, just imagine this point right there. And it's going to make a place where that can go into on, on this stick right here. So that's our next cut. Okay, now that fits in there just like that. So we got one more notch to cut. It's on this bait piece. And I'm going to make it on the inside here. So what you want to do is you just want to pull that a little bit tight so it's got a little spring to it. And make your notch right in, right about there. So it's going to go right on this inside. Okay, let's do a quick review. This is the first piece we made, our upright. And we measured that by taking our rock to get the right angle on the rock that we wanted. And secondly, we took our this piece here and carve that out so that it would accept this piece. Next we took this piece, carved a little notch on the end so that our trigger piece would be able to accept it. And lastly, our trigger itself, I don't know if you can see that very well, but there's the notch I made in that. I don't know if that got it there or not. Hopefully you can see that, how I did that. I'm down in behind a friend's house here, and luckily he has a problem with a pest squirrel. Luckily for me, not the squirrel or, or him, but... What you want to find is a little flat area, and I think right at the bottom of this tree will be pretty good. Okay, I'm going to give you a little demonstration on how this works. Make sure that lays flat. Got a flat area to set it on. Find the balance point. Just take your figure four pre-assembled. Just stick it right in there. Okay, I'll see if I can trigger it. You put your bait right in there. Just like that. I've got a little bit of peanut butter, and you don't need very much. 
just dab a tiny bit, even that's too much. Just a, you don't even need that much. You just kind of goo it a little bit, just rub it in all the way around. That should be fine, just like that. That's all you need. You don't need very much. I'll get this thing set back up and we'll see if we can't get one. Once you got it all set up and baited, you might want to throw a few twigs on each side. Helps keep the animal stay under when it comes down. Or something like that. Okay, we'll leave it like that. We'll come back tomorrow and we'll see if we got anything. Let's have a look. Aha! Seems to be down. See if we got anything. Well, look at what we have here. Oh, poor little fella. Not quite what we were looking for. Okay, we're back again, and the trap is down. Aha! Uh -huh. I think we, I think we got him. Hot damn! That's what I'm talking about. Ha ha ha! Oh, sorry, little fella. This guy has been a nuisance to my buddy's shed. He's been in in the shed, tearing up things, his jackets and stuff. I don't think he'll be doing it anymore. I want to thank you for stopping by watching this video. If you do try to make a figure four trap, don't get discouraged. It's really a hard trap to make. Uh, it takes a lot of practice. Uh, I hope you like this video. If you like this one, check out my channel. Uh, there's plenty more of trapping videos for fishing. And if you like them, subscribe.